Now, I have just noticed. What is that? It looks like some kind of a bone on top of that tomb. Wow, look at this one. It reels again. No name there that I can see. And we have even more crypts all around us. Another one here. Looks like the name is William. 1872, I think. And these mausoleums are, for the most, completely bricked up. But uh, you have to be very careful because it's on a complete slant. And you don't want to be falling down there. It says E Bishop. Just there. That to me, I thought it was actually like um, iron. James McComsky of Pell Isle of Man, who died 1895, aged 61. So James McComsky, an unusual name. The memory of the just is blessed. So this is the, the back of the mausoleum. And there. Uh, We've even actually a couple of headstones just in here. That one looks like it's iron as well for some reason. We won't be able to get in there because it's just completely surrounded by brambles. So as I said, that's the, the back there of that mausoleum and you can see we have several of these crypts around and some beautiful headstones as well. Another one here. Now there is a hole there, so I might just pause the video and have a look. There guys, there's actually human remains there. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Complete skeleton. Skulls, bones. Rib cage, the whole lot there. <sighs> just from that little hole trying to peep in. So it's just in there, there's a hole. And we can see full skeletal remains in there kind of out of breath now because I was trying to get a look in. There's the wall of it. Look at these. Erected by Mrs. John Murphy and the date down at the bottom to the memory of um, erected by Mrs. John Murphy. And it says something at the bottom, to the memory of, as a tribute of parental affection, to the memory of his beloved children, Anne aged 11 months, and Anna Maria down at the bottom. So it must be, sorry, it's Mr. John Murphy. But just look at that, those beautiful little cherubs. And I wonder, is there three small children underneath? Now it has started to rain, um, it was given some showers, but we'll keep going, look at that, the dove, some beautiful flowers, absolutely gorgeous. Loving memory of Richard Newman, who died April 20th, 1908, aged, I think that's 66, and his wife Annie, 1928, 
aged 80 and his children. We have a nine week old, Michael. He died in 1875. We have Robert, aged just 11 months, 1877. John Robert, 1887, 10 months. Eleanor, 14 years, 1887. Those are all the same year. Johanna, 1890, age 21. William, 1910, 31. John Robert, 1918, 28 years. Benjamin, aged 47, 1919. Mary Ann, 1942, aged 69. Andrew Sarah, Penrose, aged 65, 1948. And Richard Newman, 1951, aged 80. So a lot of his, his children are there. So the day is changing drastically here. So we're going to try and get as much done and there is the wind. That looks like a flower on this one. Here lie at the body of uh, Beale. Mr. Amos. Amos Beale, it looks like, who died or who departed this life, 1792, age 62. And look at that for beautiful designs, like a flower. Now, I don't know what this is. This is obviously a crypt as well, and it's completely broken away. A lot of stones and stuff in there. It's like the whole thing has collapsed. It just goes to show how deep those go down. We have another structure actually just up there quite similar. We have another one here and we keep going up along. I'm just mindful that there is a tour going on and as I said the caretaker cutting the lawns. Some more of these crypts. This is like the land of crypts or land of mausoleums. I've never seen anything quite like it. Joseph Wade it looks like 1832. Mausoleum here and as you can see it's kind of built up on these hills. And I don't know what you can see already, just there, there's a line of those crypts. But unfortunately, the man cutting the lawn is down there. So we'll have a look in a few minutes. Another crypt. Another one here. And another one here. As I said, Kinsale just below us there and those beautiful coloured houses. Now unfortunately we've had a quick look here and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of um, writing left on those crypts or mausoleums. Yeah, look at this one. This is gorgeous. And these look like they are, I don't know what sort of stone that is. I keep thinking that they look like metal. This is in memory of James O'Brien, I think it is, um, erected by his sister-in-law, is it? Son-in-law. Or son-in-law, sorry. And the date then, well, it says also his children, actually. The date in there. Infancy, so his children died in infancy, but I don't see a date and it, it could be gone right down under the ground there, I suppose. There's another crypt here completely covered in ivy. And uh, that there would have been the entrance into it. So as I said, it's quite hard to get around because it's kind of all on slopes. Another crypt just there. A 
Now, and unfortunately, if there is writing on these, they're all up on top, and we've no way of reading them then, unless we can find them on Find a Grave, but I don't think we will be able to, unless to have um, an ID source. We've more of the crypts there. This beautiful one here, absolutely gorgeous. And this was actually a crypt as well. You can see here, wrote on the ground, entrance. So that would have been the entrance into that there. Some beautiful designs on top. Um, erected by, looks like Benjamin McDaniel. Um, and the rest I cannot read, unfortunately. And then more of those crypts and vaults. And again, any writing is just there on top. So it's kind of a pity that it's done that way because we just can't read them. And look at the entrance for this one. How cool is that? And another one just here. This one here. And then a row of them. All along, right down there where that man is uh, cutting the grass. I've just spotted it up here. T. Knox, Private T. Knox, Connacht Rangers, 1914. I'm just giving you a look in here at the actual entrance. Right, so you'll have to excuse the sound of the lawnmower. But I want to walk you down along here. To just give you an idea of all of those crypts and vaults. So many of them. the sun back out again and that's one and that's the, the kind of the, the hill I was talking about the slope but it kind of walks you right around it's really really nice walks you right around the church it's even more crypts and vaults it's crazy I've never seen um, one quite like it newer section just up there but look at this the beautiful red kind of a stone it's just gorgeous 
something out there. Lydia, I think. Nothing on this side. Some tombs. Just get a look at the, the green and the pink and the blue. Such vibrant colours here in Kinsale. Another crypt. Some beautiful rails there. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. And yet another one just there. I don't think I've seen a graveyard, um, the one in Killogy down in Killarney that Irish Eyes did had loads of them, loads of vaults and of course we were able to take a closer look inside them but this is different, it's just, you know, there's just so many of them, They're almost on top of each other then as well. But uh, it's kind of taken us the bones of three hours in, fairly heavy traffic to kind of get here but it's another one ticked off the, the bucket list I've had for a while. And again, any information I find, I will put either in the description box or photos or anything, I will pop them over the video and edit. And some headstones we just couldn't get to at all, and then some of course we just couldn't read, which is a pity. But look at that blue sky, absolutely stunning. And then even more mausoleums and crypts down there. Loving memory of Frances Catron, wife of George Newman Dunn, it looks like. And born in 1840 maybe 1914 or so there for his passing I don't think we'll be able to read this one looks like Martha Daunt Esquire JP 1872 and we won't be able to read that either unfortunately Right, so guys, we'll have to leave it there. Um, the man is cutting right where I wanted to bring you out of. So for now, take care. God bless. And I've just spotted this one. Furlong, possibly. Can't see a date. But for now, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Avis Williamson Dorman, age 71, 1920. Jane Diana Hunt Dorman, 1933. In memory of Brigham Brigadier Edward Mungo Dorman, CBDSOMC, died April 1967, and his wife, Georgia Mabel, died February 1970, buried at Arborfield. I am with you always, even unto the end. And that 
is the last of all the crypts and the mausoleums here in the Church of Ireland, St. Multo's Church. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon. God bless.